What's going on guys and welcome back to another video here on NHL 20 where once again we will be doing another career simulation video, this time on Victor Olofsson of the Buffalo Sabres. Victor Olofsson was a 7th round draft pick for the Sabres back in the 2014 NHL entry draft and finally made his debut in the NHL in the 2018-19 season where he played in just 6 games and put up 4 points. After developing his game some more in the offseason, Olofsson found himself a full-time spot on the roster for the 2019-2020 season and up until the pause of the NHL season, Victor Olofsson put up 20 goals and 22 assists for 42 points in 54 games. Olofsson had a very solid showing so far this year and one of the better rookie seasons. So today we're going to be taking control of a Western Conference team and doing whatever we can to stay out of the way of the Buffalo Sabres and Victor Olofsson in the simulation. Then we're going to simulate year by year and see his stats and if he wins any awards. So with all this being said, now let's see how Victor Olofsson is looking heading into the first year of this simulation. So heading into year one, EA and the Buffalo Sabres have Victor Olofsson on the second line at right wing playing with Marcus Johansson and Tage Thompson. Victor Olofsson is starting at 82 overall and has medium top six potential. His stats to start off are 89 offensive awareness, 89 wrist shot power, 89 acceleration, and 85 defensive awareness. Not bad at all, and now let's see if this will be enough for Victor Olsen to help get the Buffalo Sabres back to the playoffs and possibly take home the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. So in year number one, the Buffalo Sabres finished 8th in the entire NHL and find themselves in the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time since 2011. The playoffs were short-lived as they fell in 6 games in the first round to the Tampa Bay Lightning, but at least they finally made the playoffs again, so that's good. Victor Olofsson's regular season was a very solid one as the 24-year-old scored 26 goals and 39 assists for 65 points in 80 games. And in just 6 playoff games, Olofsson was very present and scored a goal and 4 assists for 5 playoff points in 6 playoff games. Great first season in the NHL, but it still wasn't enough to take home the Calder as that went to Martin Nakes of the Carolina Hurricanes. Olsen increases to 84 overall and signs a 5 year extension with the Sabres worth $6.4 million per year. For the second straight year, the Buffalo Sabres made the playoffs after finishing 12th in the league. The playoffs were better than the year before and see the Sabres knock off the Flyers in round 1 but lose the eventual Stanley Cup champions the Washington Capitals in round 2. Victor Olsen has another great regular season that sees him score 32 goals and 38 assists for 70 points in 80 games. Olsen did end up getting injured in the playoffs but in the 6 games he did play in he scored 2 goals and 4 assists for 6 playoff points. Victor Olsen increases to 85 overall and hopefully the Sabres build on this playoff run. In year number 3, the Buffalo Sabres have a massive regular season and finish 3rd in the entire NHL. The playoffs were just as good, if not better, as the Sabres go on to win their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. The Buffalo Sabres ended the seasons of Boston, Toronto, Carolina, and Edmonton on their way to Lord Stanley, and Sam Reinhart took home the Conn Smythe. Stanley Cup champion Victor Olofsson's regular season saw him score 40 goals and 37 assists for 77 points in 77 games, and in the playoffs had 17 points in 23 games. Amazing season for the Buffalo Sabres and Victor Olofsson, and with this he increases to 86 overall. The Buffalo Sabres regular season dominance continued in year number 4 as they finished 4th in the entire NHL, but the playoffs were a different story, as the defending Stanley Cup champion Buffalo Sabres fall in the first round to the Boston Bruins in just 5 games. As for Victor Olofsson, he had another good regular season where he scored 31 goals and 39 assists for another 70 point season, and in the playoffs scored just a goal and an assist in 5 games. Victor Olofsson despite having another decent regular season decreases in overall and is back down to an 85. Once again, the Buffalo Sabres have a great regular season as they finish third in the league and in the playoffs go on to reclaim Lord Stanley. En route to their second Stanley Cup in three years, the Sabres knocked off the Penguins, Leafs, Devils, and Sharks, and Matisse Kivlenix takes home the Conn Smythe Trophy. Victor Olofsson's regular season saw him fall off a bit as he scored just 22 goals and 30 assists for 50 points. Not a terrible season, but not what we were used to seeing him put up as of late. In the playoffs, he scored 3 goals and 10 assists for 13 playoff points in 21 playoff games, and with this, the two-time Stanley Cup champion drops again in overall and is back down to an 84. In year number 6, prior to the regular season, the Buffalo Sabres decide to move on from Victor Olofsson as they trade him to the Columbus Blue Jackets. In their first season with Victor Olofsson, the Jackets finished 6th in the NHL and made the playoffs. In the playoffs, the Jackets are swept in the first round by the Islanders, and to make matters worse, the Buffalo Sabres go on to win their third Stanley Cup in 4 years. Victor Olofsson's regular season was a struggle as he scored just 13 goals and 21 assists for 34 points, and in the playoffs did literally nothing but be on the ice for 5 goals against. Despite this poor season, Olofsson stays put at 84 overall, and in the offseason signs a 2-year deal with the Vancouver Canucks worth $3.2 million per year.
Year 7 sees the Vancouver Canucks just barely sneak into the playoffs after finishing 18th in the entire league, and in the playoffs they fall in 6 games to the Colorado Avalanche. Victor Olsen's first year with the Canucks was similar to the one he had last year as he put up just 12 goals and 23 assists for 35 points. The playoffs were a different story though as the 30 year old scored 2 goals and 3 assists for 5 points in 6 playoff games. Not a great regular season, but a solid playoff run, and with this Olsen again stays put at 84 overall. The Canucks improved a bit in the regular season standings in year number 8 as they finished 12th in the NHL. They made the playoffs and made it to the second round where they fell to the LA Kings in 6 games. Victor Olsson had somewhat of a bounce back season compared to his prior ones that saw him score 15 goals and 27 assists for 42 points. Olsson definitely showed up for the playoffs as well and was a point per game as he scored 4 goals and 7 assists for 11 points. Like I said, somewhat of a bounce back season for Olsson and with it he increased back up to an 85 overall. This was the last year of his current deal and in the offseason he decides to sign a 4 year deal with the Carolina Hurricanes worth 4.5 million dollars per year. The Carolina Hurricanes after signing Olsen go on to have a terrible year that sees them finish second to last in the NHL and sees Olsen miss the playoffs for the first time in the simulation. Victor Olsen's regular season had him play in 80 games and put up 17 goals and 29 assists for 46 points and Olsen increases in overall again and is back up to an 86. The Hurricanes missed the playoffs once again in year number 10 after finishing second to last in the league. Despite the terrible season for the Canes, Victor Olsen had a solid season as he scored 22 goals and 37 assists for 59 points in 80 games that led the Hurricanes in scoring. Even though it was one of his better seasons in years, Olsen drops to an 85 overall, most likely due to him being 33 now. So in the first 10 seasons of this simulation, Victor Olsen has had a pretty good career so far. In a total of 804 NHL games, Olsen has scored 232 goals and 322 assists for 554 career points so far. Aside from this, he also has himself two Stanley Cup rings and has been playing pretty solid despite his age. Now let's see how the rest of his career plays out and if he can win himself his third Stanley Cup. The Hurricanes improve a little bit in year number 11, but still miss out on the playoffs at their finishing 23rd in the NHL. The Hurricanes improve a little bit in year number 11, but still miss out on the playoffs at their finishing 23rd in the NHL. Victor Olsson was playing really solid, but got hurt and missed almost half the season. In a shortened 56 game season for him, he scored 10 goals and 32 assists for 42 points and stays put at 85 overall. To no one's surprise, in year number 12, the Carolina Hurricanes finished 20th in the NHL and missed out on the Stanley Cup playoffs once again. As for Victor Olsen, he was able to stay healthy this year and put up 10 goals and 35 assists for 45 points in a full 82-game regular season. Olsen drops to an 83 overall and signs a two-year extension with the Carolina Hurricanes worth $4.9 million per year. Year 13 sees the Canes have another mediocre season and finish 24th in the league and miss the playoffs once again. Victor Olsen in 80 games scored 23 goals and 27 assists for 50 points on the year. Not a bad season, but with him getting older, he drops in overall again and is now down to a 79 heading into the final year of his contract. Carolina somehow gets worse and finishes dead last in the entire NHL in year number 14. Victor Olsen played in 78 games for them and put up 12 goals and 14 assists for 26 points on the year, and after it, decides to retire from the NHL. So after 14 full seasons, Victor Olsen retires from the NHL after playing 1,100 NHL games. Over those 1,100 games, Olsen scored 287 goals and 430 assists for 717 career points. Victor Olsen was also a big part of two Buffalo Sabres teams that went on to win the Stanley Cup twice, and this definitely was the highlight of his career. So there you have it, Victor Olsen's career simulated on NHL 20. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know who you guys would like to see next. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for 6,000 subscribers, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. All right, so one more thing I forgot to mention is my Twitter and Twitch channels. Occasionally, I'll put out a preview on Twitter of one of my upcoming videos. So if you're interested in things like that, feel free to leave a follow there. All the ads and uh, links will be in the description and on screen. So like I said, if you're interested, follow me there. As for Twitch with the whole quarantine stuff going on, I'm thinking of streaming. So again, follow me there as well if you want to see some live streams. Also, huge thank you to Man of the Rit for the Twitter and Twitch channel art. So make sure to check him out as well. And um, yeah, that should be it now. So... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.